Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode three of season two of Love Live Mitsusaki School Idol Club. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. I have the worst headache right now because I thought they should have took medicine. This is right. girl was like, oh, excuse me? <laughs> oh, she heard that and was like, hold on, babe, what you say? <laughs> you know, and I was like, do we need to have a conversation? I know it's not time. They said it's not time. Okay, but when it is time, you let me know because we need to talk. That she's gonna be like the best girlfriend and be like, all right, so babe, what's wrong? Why are you avoiding me? This is that because she's you can see you, it's just avoiding straight up avoiding the conversation. I get that because she doesn't want to tell Ayamu everything, but at the same time, that's your girlfriend, quote unquote, and, and you know, you're supposed to tell them everything. Come on now. Can we talk about the fact that the freaking subtitles are going faster than the, um... <laughs> it is! I mean, quite you get to sleep all the time as a girl. <laughs> no, 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 don't say that. sense. But you are her girlfriend, so you know, you do want that attention in the mornings.
Kasumi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She ain't even trying. Oh my god. Woo, god. <laughs> Please don't rain, rain until I finish both shows and edit. Of course you are. Aww. <laughs> Is it a sleepy sage? <laughs> I thought it kind of looked like a macaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow it looks so good see that's just gonna make me hungry and I'm not gonna be able to eat until like maybe almost 3 o'clock
Tony, are you in here? Oh my god, when did you get in here? <laughs> Unfortunately, it was really hard. No, it seems like everybody's struggling this week. Mm -hmm. You just keep trying after that. you are. Mm-hmm. 
Pop-ups would happen while I'm trying to record. <laughs> oh. I felt like they just showed outfits from the game, even though I haven't played the game forever. Because I tried playing it, what, like a week ago? And then I was just like, oh, God, I remembered why. I was just like, mmm. Yeah, there's that one outfit! That was so good, oh my god. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Honey, you so hard at it. You did feel something though.
pretty. Oh, we just going and like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised that they're doing these two next. I was expecting Ayamu's group to go next and then these two, but no, of course, of course, because of the fact, as you know, we still have to, you know, see more of the Ayamu Yu situation and such. Of course, they're going to have Ayamu's group be the last group that comes together as their mini subgroup. But I thought this was really sweet and interesting. I love the fact that, you know, what Rena decided to do as a leader and what they ended up doing and complimenting each other towards the end was to say, yeah, let's have a training camp. Let's all spend time with each other for a whole week leading up to this event. And they got to learn more about each other and compliment each other on certain things. And that makes them work so well together. And I think, like, when I found out about the subunits, like, I think, what, the first season when this show was airing, and still playing the game at the time, I was like, some of them, I was like, okay, how does this work? Because I was expecting, well, for I and Cotton, I already knew that was happening, because you could always tell with those two. But when I looked at Quartz for the first time, I was like, okay. How does this work with these four? And so that's why, like, the biggest thing going into this second season, I was like, I need to see those four interact a little bit more so that I can see, like, okay, that makes sense. And then, like I said, with Cotton and I, of course, because the, they're very similar to, similar to each other in a way, but still different. But the way that those two just complement each other so freaking much, you're just like, yes, it works. Like, mm. And then... Our last three, of course, we're not going to see that until the end, but who knows. But yes, their song was cute. The outfits were adorable. How I love the fact that they literally showed, um, I think it was Kasumi's, like, fest card. Um, and then I think Rina's fest card, and then, um, Kotaha's, uh, like, Phantom Thief outfit. But then did they even show anything for Emma? Because they, they showed those three, and then it went, like, past Emma for, like, a moment. But I do love the fact, and, it kinda, and even if I was still playing this game, I do kind of wish, and, and D4DJ has gone with this route, um, no. Well, Cinderella Girls has done it first, then D4DJ has officially done it, and then I, I'm praying to God that in the future, Bang Dream kind of does this as well. Animated cards. I think animated cards look so much better when you see the movement, like, the, you get to see the beauty of the card when, like, you idolize the card, of course, and when you see the outfit on the idol and such, but it looks so much better when it's animated and such. If you've seen any of the cards from, um, the Cinderella Girl series, especially if you've ever played, um, Deserte, or if you've played D4DJ, you know what the heck I'm talking about and how gorgeous those cards look when their emotion and so i'm hoping that with this series and with any other ask idol series that they do eventually try to do animation with some of the idolized forms because they look so nice and beautiful and really clean and i'm like damn 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> but this episode was so freaking adorable. But um, then she like they're they're chipping away at her slowly but surely, and I love that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of season two of Love Live Mijusaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode four. Bye, guys.